Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and I am so happy to have you joining me in this very special last Christmas uh, Foodie Friday. In today's video, we're gonna be making some fantastic Christmas uh, cocktails. I'm gonna say holiday cocktails because you can use them through the season into New Year's Eve. And I am so excited to show you some of these. They are my absolute faves. There are some that I enjoy Christmas morning, some I enjoy Christmas Eve, um, and some that are just good all season long. So if you are here for it and you're looking for a delicious cocktail to serve at your Christmas event, this is the video for you. We're gonna get started today with probably my favorite of all of the cocktails, and that is an amaretto eggnog. You're gonna start off with a large glass, fill it with a lot of ice. You're going to add in eight ounces or one cup of eggnog, eggnog of your choice. Make sure it's a good creamy one and make sure you have a lot of ice to keep it nice and chilled. Go ahead and grab your amaretto, which is an almond liqueur and you're going to add in one ounce of amaretto to the top of your eggnog. With a cocktail spoon, go ahead and give this a good stir. Make sure that it's completely combined. And finally, top it off with a little bit of nutmeg. Our next cocktail today is my rendition of a Christmas cookie cocktail. For this cocktail, you're going to start off with some vanilla frosting. You can make your own or like me, just go ahead and use some store-bought. Go ahead and spread this out onto a flat surface. I'm using a plate. Uh, you could use you know, a paper plate if you wanted or you could put this directly onto your cup using this plastic spatula or your finger or something like that. Uh, go ahead and rim your glass with the frosting. This cocktail is definitely a dessert cocktail, so you don't wanna enjoy this one with your dinner. Once you've got your vanilla frosting all around your rim, you're going to grab a clean bowl or plate and add in some festive sprinkles. I'm using these green and red and white sprinkles that I picked up at Walmart. And again, you're going to dip the rim of your cup into your sprinkles. Next up, go ahead and add in your ice. This is important that you do the rimming of your cup before you add your ice. It'll be very, very difficult to do it the other way around. Grab your cocktail shaker. You could also do this directly in your glass if you don't have one. You're going to start off with two ounces of a flavored coffee creamer. Now it does call for sugar cookie flavored. I could not find that anywhere, so I'm using a sweet cream coffee creamer. Next up, add in one ounce of vanilla flavored vodka. I'm using Smirnoff. Next up, you're gonna add in one ounce of half and half. And then the recipe does call for one ounce of Kahlua, which I didn't have, so I'm adding in one ounce of Bailey's cream. Tasted just as delicious, I'm sure. Go ahead and put the lid back onto your shaker once you've added a couple pieces of ice. Give that a good shake, and then this is ready to go. I put mine into a stemless wine glass, however, you could use a martini glass if that's what you have. I think that would be more appropriate. I don't drink martinis, so I don't own any martini glasses, but I think that's what this should be served in. I also served mine over ice. The recipe doesn't call for that, but I like a very chilled cocktail. It's up to you how you'd like to serve yours. Mm. 
Next up, we're going to make a Christmas mimosa, the easiest of all of these cocktails. You're going to start with a champagne flute and you're going to add in one ounce of cran raspberry juice and one ounce of grapefruit juice. I'm using this beautiful champagne flute that actually was gifted to Danny and I. It was a pair for our wedding. We use them every year on our anniversary and I felt like it was appropriate for this one. Go ahead and top off your juices with your favorite champagne. I'm using uh, Barefoot's Bubbly Moscato. It's absolutely delicious. It does have a little bit of a sweeter taste, so if you don't like that, you could definitely use something more like a Prosecco. And then go ahead and garnish your mimosa with some fresh raspberries, and this cocktail is ready to go. Next up, we're gonna do my favorite. This is a Christmas margarita or another rendition of a pomegranate margarita. You're going to start by sugaring your rim. So add a little bit of lime juice to the outside of your rim and then dip this into some sugar. You could do a sugar and salt uh, mixture if you prefer, but I like this with the nice sweet rim to help counteract the tartness of the juices. Go ahead and top it off with some fresh ice. Toss in a few cubes into your cocktail shaker. And we're gonna get started with two ounces of cranberry juice, followed by two ounces of pomegranate juice. Next up, add two ounces of tequila. You'll definitely want to use silver tequila for this recipe. Gold just does not hit the mark. It's not the right tequila for this cocktail. So make sure you're using silver. You could even do Patron if you wanted a little bit more of a salty taste. Go ahead and add in about a half an ounce of triple sec. I think I ended up putting in one ounce, but sometimes I don't pay attention. <laughs> And then I'm also adding in one full ounce of lime juice. The recipe typically calls for only a half an ounce, but I like my margaritas to be very limey. Go ahead and put your top back on, give this a super good shake, and then you're ready to go. make your margarita extra festive, go ahead and garnish it with some fresh cranberries and a sprig of rosemary, and this will look absolutely beautiful on any Christmas spread. Our final cocktail today is my rendition of Rudolph's Tipsy Spritzer. You're going to start off with your cocktail shaker. Go ahead and add in a couple pieces of ice. And then we're going to get started with our juices. So this recipe calls for orange juice and cranberry juice. Both need to be chilled. That's important in all of your recipes today. Make sure that the juice on all of your recipes are chilled. The recipe calls for two ounces of both juices plus some soda, either ginger ale or Sprite. However, I decided to make mine without the soda today and just use the juices. So I did three ounces of orange juice followed by three ounces of cranberry juice. Mm -hmm. 
Next up, you're gonna add in one and a half ounces of your favorite vodka. Next up, add in a splash of maraschino cherry juice. I also forgot to add in just a little bit of lemon juice. Go ahead and give this a really good stir and a really extra good shake. Add lots of ice to your glass and pour this on over. This looks absolutely delicious. And like I said, I did alter this recipe a lot, but I prefer it this way. I don't like my drinks to be too fizzy. I garnished mine with a little bit of maraschino cherry and another sprig of rosemary, and this cocktail is ready to go. And you might call this the cherry on top. We're gonna call it the boozy cherry on top. For a fun little drink topper or something to just grab and go, soak some maraschino cherries in vanilla vodka. They're absolutely delicious. Okay, my friends, that brings us to the end of this Cook With Me video. Hopefully you're not too tipsy to finish this video. If you are, you can always come back and watch again. I uh, hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you try these recipes. I'll have them linked for you down below. Remember that some of them I tweak to make them work for me, uh, but I'll post them all for you as they are. If you do try any of these recipes, please tag me on Instagram at Charlotte Grove Farmhouse. I hope you guys have a lit Christmas, and I will see you very soon. Happy drinking.